I have, but I will give anyone a very, very big gold star if they can spot what we have spotted in that thicket that you see over there. If anyone has any ideas as to where our little surprise is, it is incredibly difficult to see it, but just over here is where you need to look, and you see there is just a light little colored line there that is very tough to see, but we will go in slowly and you will see what is revealed as we do. There wobbles around a little lion cub feeding off its mother. So <laughs> we have got the Inkuma female and her cubs. How cool is this, guys? Look how wet they are. Ooh, fighting now over the teats for milk. So it looks like all three of them are there. I've seen little heads popping up, but you can see they're wet. They must be cold and they must be hungry. They obviously haven't fed for a day. You know, we saw that this female was at that pride the whole day yesterday, so they must be very hungry. And that's why they're tucking into some milk. And especially in this cold weather, can you imagine those little ones yesterday must have been shivering with cold and they've now been able to get a good meal and that's going to help warm warm them up and they're going to feel a lot better about life but look how spotty their little heads are still <laughs> super cute i can't believe we actually have even spotted these things it was very difficult to see them and it was just pure luck really i was about to actually step out to use the facilities basically and i was looked over to my left and just saw something that i wasn't quite sure of that looked a bit liney and so then we used the camera to punch in and saw the little cubs there as well but she's very well camouflaged it was just sheer luck that we managed to see her there is no other way to put it how wonderful is this though look how cute that is so cute and i'm glad that they're doing well and that they're surviving often when you get a a drastic change in temperature it can be very dangerous for young animals so you'll get a situation where all of a sudden you get this cold and you get this wet and um these little ones really battle with that they they sometimes can succumb to those kind of things so it's great to see that they're doing okay and that they are feeding and that they are healthy and happy and that they seem to be fairly feisty and active so there's definitely all three of them look at oh, they are still little those paws are tiny 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 hey little guys Dr. Rob, you say you're going to die of a cuteness overload. I know, they are incredibly cute, aren't they? They are the most cutest things that you could imagine. Oh, super sweet, and they look as though there's one or two of them have had enough to eat, and maybe they're going to move around. I think they're using... Oh, look at that little face. Hello, little one. What you doing? That's the little one, I think. No, they that's not it they've got lots of dirt on them so i think they must be using this termite mound in front of me as the den site there's a big termite mound here and there's a little bit of dirt on their shoulders so i think they're using the holes there so you can see just here is where the there is a hole in a termite mound and there looks like a bit of disturbance coming down from that mound there so i think she's putting them inside there and utilizing that to hide them particularly in this cold weather a nice insulated mound is the best possible place for them a little bit to your left senzo yeah, you can see them. Okay, cool. But you can see just how difficult it is to see them in that picture. They are very... Now, Andrew, you're wondering what pride this is? Well, this is a, the youngest female from the Inkuhuma pride that has got this cubs. And she's the only one in the Inkuhuma pride at the moment that's got small cubs. Um, but it's her first litter, so it's amazing that she's doing well and she's really considering how difficult it's been to find food and how difficult it has been for these individuals um well to find big food items she's done so well to keep these little ones alive considering it's her first litter they're in areas where there's lots of other predators her instincts have been great and she's probably l very very um experienced from watching the other lionesses raising their cubs last year and she's probably learned where there's good den sites and that stood her in good stead to be able to help out and to be able to keep her little cubs alive Now, from where we are, there's really no other way to get anywhere closer. And I think we've got at least at least a very good view from where we are. And so we're just going to spend our time here and hope that once they've fed, they're going to get a little bit playful and maybe start moving around a bit more. It's funny that we've had a situation where 
We've been here twice, and both times the little cubs have been a bit obscured. But rather that in a thicket and obscured than having no visual of them at all. Just listening to the updates on the Styx Pride as well. Sounds like they've gone into Torchwood from Chitwa, which is interesting. So I'm sure they finished their meal and have gone that way, which is also, in a way, good for us because a lot of the guys are going to rush down that way. This is only a one-vehicle sighting. We can't have more than one vehicle here. They are of the age now where we can start checking the den like we did today, and we know that this lioness was coming here. The, the tracks were very evident that she was moving in this direction, so I was 99.9% .9 sure that she was here, and, and that's why we moved here to come and check. And there we go. At least she's active, and we, and we can spend time. You can see the cubs are in no way freaked out by a vehicle. She hasn't even lifted her head since I've been here. So it just goes to show that we can start spending a little bit of time with them. We'll just keep it a one-vehicle sighting for now, get these little ones used to us, not track too much attention to the area. And then from there, we're going to try and sort of introduce a second vehicle when they get a little bit older so when they get to about four or five months we'll try and start putting a second one in and then slowly but surely introduce them to a third later in life but very cool to see how fluffy are they and they're still so spotty and those ears are absolutely tiny they are super cute now we're going to enjoy our little cubs feeding but while we do that let's go across to taylor who i think has got a tall giraffe 